Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 28th of May 1987, an 18-year-old amateur pilot from Hamburg in West Germany illegally landed a private aircraft near Moscow's Red Square. Matthias Rust had clocked up just 50 hours of flying time before commencing his journey that took in the Shetland and Faroe Isles, Iceland, Bergen and Helsinki before his flight to Moscow. Rusk's journey was incredibly risky. Just five years earlier, a South Korean commercial aircraft had been shot down after it strayed into Soviet airspace. Rust himself was tracked by three separate surface-to-air missile units and a total of four fighter planes were sent to monitor him, but none of them were given permission to attack. Rust approached Moscow in the early evening and, after passing the Ring of Steel, an anti-aircraft defence surrounding the city, he continued towards the city centre. Abandoning his idea of landing in the Kremlin, he instead touched down on a bridge next to St Basil's Cathedral and taxied into Red Square. Within two hours, he had been arrested and was sentenced to four years in a labour camp for violating international flight rules and illegally entering the Soviet Union. But he was released after serving 14 months in jail. In a 2007 interview, Rust claimed that he hoped his flight would build an imaginary bridge between East and West. What it actually did was massively damage the reputation of the Soviet military for failing to stop him. This in turn led to the largest dismissal of Soviet military personnel since Stalin's purges and allowed Gorbachev to push ahead with his progressive reforms. (laughs) 